What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at some nano hearing aids. Now if you're in the market for this, you're probably dealing with some kind of hearing deficient order. And I have to say that being a pharmacist and as well as a tech reviewer, kind of worked out quite well. Now this here is the Nano, which is actually a pretty high priced hearing aids, but together we'll see exactly what it comes with, what it can do and how it kind of works. Now, as you kind of get older, hearing becomes a bit of an issue. You can actually have trouble hearing as you progress. So this here essentially is an amplifier that will go ahead and allow you to hear it a lot more easier and kind of cutting out the middleman so you technically don't have to go see the doctor to go ahead and get one of your very own. So before we go ahead and open up the hearing aids, uh, so you get this battery pack here. So you get a good amount of batteries. So this here is a total of, it looks like 36. 36 batteries, so this definitely should last you a good amount of time. But again, very standardized batteries. These are uh, PR48s. Uh, you can pretty much buy them anywhere if you really wanted to, or especially from the Nano website. All right, so this is your journey to better hearing. Uh, if you ever have any questions, you can call this number. Uh, kind of gives you exactly how to go ahead and use this in terms of week one, week two, week three. So you want to go ahead and be patient, you want to practice, and then eventually you'll be able to go ahead and hear without any issues. Uh, we have ourselves a quick start guide, so this is kind of nice. So you got a nice colorful diagram, kind of explaining step by step how to go ahead and use it. All right, so this here is our Nano, and then this here is our accessory kit. Uh, so before we look at the Nano itself, the accessories include some extra earpieces, which is nice, as well as a tool and a brush to go ahead and keep it clean, as well as taking care of it. Now the Nano itself does come in this nice looking pouch, almost looks like a sunglasses case, and it has it in a gray version of the Nano logo. So we'll open it up, and there we are. So these are a lot smaller than I was imagining. I thought these were a lot bigger, but yeah, it's very, very nice, very conveniently sized. Um, so uh, you have your switch right over here to turn it on. And then you have your battery port, which will kind of pop off just like this. And you just go ahead and insert your battery right there. This will go ahead and lock into place just like that. You can go ahead and place it in your ear. Uh, so this one is actually, sorry, the wrong side of the ear. So this goes in the right ear and this will go over your ear lobe and then behind it just like this. And just like that, it's ready to go. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on a camera. So this will allow us to go ahead and scan that QR code. Um, so we're going to use iOS, which is for Apple, and then you have your other one here for your Android. So let's click on Get. All right, and then it says, would you like to connect to it via Bluetooth? I'll click OK. Uh, and then from there, we're going to click on Search for Device and start search. All right, it's kind of picked up on both of the Nano Sigmas. So I'll go ahead and click Connect Device to One. And OK. And then this one here is going to be our left ear. So I'll click on that, connecting to it. All right, so now that we uh, essentially have it ready to go, I can actually hear myself, which is kind of interesting to see. Um, I can go ahead and click on sound control and I can go ahead and adjust the volume based on my personal preference. I can either adjust left or right, and then based on where you're at, control it. So if you're in a restaurant, um, if you're watching TV, if you're outdoor, uh, and then you have your exact small frequency, so you can kind of fine tune it. So that's kind of nice that it gives you full control over it. So if you want to go ahead and amplify a certain degree of the gigahertz, it's up to you. So it's kind of nice as well. So they made it very convenient, very easy to use. And you can go ahead and simply turn it off just like this. And now this one here is off. Uh, if I go to the right one here, I can hit hearing check. Uh, this will be allows to go ahead and conduct a hearing check or a test, which is kind of cool. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit microphone and testing start. So let's begin. Three, two, one. No, I don't hear that tone. Okay, I hear the tone. So I don't hear the tone. This is weird. Okay. Okay, now I can hear the tone. I can hear that frequency, but I couldn't hear the first frequency. That's interesting. So we have, I officially have trouble with soft sounds. I did not know that. Ha, huh, who knew that I actually had an issue with my hearing? So this is quite, quite interesting as well. So that, that is very unique. I did not know that and I'm quite shocked, but you know what? I think it's kind of normal. So it's about 70% is what it shows it as. So it's not bad yet, but we're still good. 
So kind of gives you an idea what that is. So you test yourself to see if you actually need hearing aids. You can do both left and the right ear, which is kind of nice. And yeah, kind of gives you an idea what exactly the Nano Sigma is about. Very nice, very easy, very lightweight. And of course, you know, it's pretty cool for what it is. Now, if you guys are in the market for hearing aids, I would highly recommend it mainly because one, you get the app control. So it's a little bit smart device, quickly control the audio, control, you know, the frequency and stuff of that nature. So yeah, if you had any questions about these hearing aids, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.